To complete my Lance of Lyrengard Max, let's slow things down a bit and give the Lance Commander and his Marauder a nice heroic paint job. Welcome everyone, I'm Jason, the creator of the Tabletop Battlefield, and I've got for you today another heroic paint job for Battletech, a game of armored combat slash clan invasion. I've got a Marauder here to finish up my Lyran Guards Lance. So if you like these kind of more detailed painting tutorials, hit that like button, and that way I know to make some more of them. Now this guy here took about three hours-ish to paint up, but that includes um, video stuff, voiceovers, all that fun thing. So probably for you, it'll take a little bit less than that. So all right, with that detail out of the way, let's get started. For this, as well as many of my other Battletech paint jobs, I'm using a black spray primer. In this case, I'm using the Army Painter brand. For the first step, I want to section off the mech into its gray and blue areas. So I'm going to take a basic gray color. I have Dawnstone Gray from Games Workshop, set it a line of paints. And I want to draw a line at the borders of the different regions between blue and gray. So moving on to the next step involves coloring all the areas that are going to be white in Dawnstone Gray. I'm just taking my Artificer Layer small brush and painting over all the areas of the mech. I'm not worrying about leaving the black primer being shown because this Dawnstone Gray is going to be the shadow area. So the gray base coat's in place. Now we're going to do something similar with the blue. For this step, I'm using Cantor Blue from Games Workshop, set it a line of paints. It's a dark blue color. And I'm going to paint the rest of the mech this blue color. Once again, I'm not worried about having the black show through from the primer because this dark blue is going to be the shadow areas going forward. Now it's time to start building up the final colors on each of the sections of the mech. I'm going to start with the white area first. For the first layer, I'm going to use a light gray color. In this case, I have negative from Coltcraft's line of paints. Then, over a series of layers, I want to add in a little bit more of an off-white color for each additional layer. For my choice, I'm using Brain Matter Beige from Army Painter's War Paint series. So therefore, by the time you reach layer 5 or so, you're going to have something that's pretty close to an off-white color. Now white is a notoriously difficult color to paint, so you want to be sure to water down your paints. That's one of the reasons why I'm applying so many layers. By applying these multiple layers of thinned down paints, you're going to hide your brush strokes. Now this is where the tricky part comes in though. You want to make sure that you contain each of the layers to individual armor panels. That way, this base color of Dawnstone Gray can show through between the armor panels as a bit of a shadow color. Between each of the layers, you want to let the paint dry completely. With the last layer of the off-white color completed, I want to add some highlights to this mech. Imagine this little orange electronic thing hanging here is my light source. All the edges of the armor panels that are facing this light source, I want to hit those with some bright white paint. My chosen color in this case is going to be Honor from Callcraft's line of paints. To complete this step, I want to do a bit of edge highlighting with my Artificer Layer Extra Small Brush. So we're done with the white side of the mech for now, let's return to the blue sections. There are a few layers of paint we're going to apply in a similar manner, but there's less of them because the blue areas on a Lyran Guard mech is not quite as bright as compared to, you know, a nice shiny white color. For my slightly brighter blue color, I'm going to be using Altdorf Guard Blue, it's a layer paint from Citadel's line of paints. I'm going to thin this paint down a bit and apply two layers to all the blue armor sections, making sure I keep the paint within each armor panel. And just like with the white layers, I want to let the first layer dry before I apply the second layer. With those two layers done, let's do some edge highlighting to the blue armor panels. I'm going to obviously use the same light source that I used for the white armor panels. To get the brighter edges, I'm going to start with Simone. It's a bright blue color from Cultcraft's line of paints. Mix that into the Altdorf Guard Blue and then take my Artificer Layer Extra Small Brush and apply the edge highlights. Let's start working on some details. So this one is going to be a quick and easy step. 
I'm going to take a bright blue color. I've got Temple Guard Blue from Games Workshop, Citadel line of paints. And I'm going to apply a small amount of this to each of the five main gun barrels. So the PPCs, the two medium lasers, and the Auto Cannon 5 on the top of the torso. There's a few areas of the mech that I want to make a silver metallic color. So the first step here is to paint those with a base layer of Dawnstone Gray. For the second layer on all the metallic parts, we're going to use a silver color. I like to use Shining Silver from Army Painters War Paint series. And I'm going to go over the gray that I painted a minute ago with this silver, leaving maybe a small amount of the gray visible to represent a little bit of wear to these metallic parts. Now I've got one of the few times I'm going to use a wash for today's miniature. I've got Nun Oil Gloss from Games Workshop, Citadel line of paints, and I'm going to use this in two places. First, I'm going to go over all the metallic parts I just painted to bring out some detail that way. Then I want to use this around any of the areas where there's armor plates stacked on top of one of each other. I'm going to go around the perimeter of the plates just to add a little bit more definition and to bring out that detail a tiny bit more. We've now got something that's really close to the final paint job that I'm going for. But the Lyran Guards actually have some extra accents, at least sometimes they do in their mechs. These can be orange, they can be a little bit of gold, copperish colors. I've seen ones that are like kind of greenish in hue. So that's what I'm going to do now, is I'm going to actually take some Troll Slayer Orange from Games Workshop Citadel line of paints, and highlight a few of my armor panels in this color. Mainly though, I'm going to be focusing on the blue side of the mech with more of the armor panels over there versus the white side of the mech. Orange is one of those colors that's kind of tricky to paint. It doesn't really cover very well. Therefore, I want to apply two thin layers of this color. And be sure to let the first layer dry before you apply the second one. Now we're at my most favorite part of every battle mech paint job. The hide and seek of trying to find the tiny canopy and painting it the correct color without screwing things up. Now the Lyran Guards use a red color for their windshield. So I'm going to be using Evil Sun Scarlet from Games Workshop, Citadel line of paints, and trying to be as careful as I can to not screw this up. And as usual, if you do make a mistake painting the canopy, I do all the time, Feel free to go back and fix it with whatever color you need to use to fix that mistake. And I think I'm down to my last series of steps here. One piece of artwork I saw online had the feet of the mech be gold. So I think I'm going to do that type of effect for my Marauder here. And the first layer is going to be using a color from Vallejo Paints. It's 7873 US Field Drab. So I'm going to paint the toes of the mech in this color. Next up is the actual gold. I've got Greedy Gold from Army Painters War Paint series. And I don't really want to apply a nice clean coat of the gold. I want to do a thin down coat just to get a little bit of that gold shimmer to this kind of olive drab color I've already got down on the toes. Then to finish off the toes, we're going to go with a wash. In this case, Seraphin Sepia from Games Workshop, Citadel line of paints. Now for the final few steps, we got some battle damage. I'm going to start with Negative from Cold Crafts line of paints. It's a light gray color. Definitely brighter than, say, Dawnstone Gray from Games Workshop, Citadel line of paints. I'm going to put this wherever I think the damaged areas of the mech should be. And when I say damaged areas, I'm talking about chips in the armor, gashes from lasers, things like that. Now think about this battle damage and the fact that it's kind of depressed compared to the rest of the armor around it. Also think about where your light source is coming from. Any of the edges of this damage, which would catch the light source, I want to paint those in a bright silver color and I'm bringing back out my Shine Silver from Army Painters War Paint series. Because this highlight here, combined with the step we're going to do next, is going to make it look like there's a bit of a 3D damage effect to each of these sections. Now I'm doing the opposite step. I'm taking out a darker gray color, in this case, Dawnstone Gray from Games Workshop, Citadel line of paints, 
and I'm painting all the edges of the battle damage that would now be in shadow. The last battle damage thing I'm going to be doing is to take some black. I've got Abaddon Black from Games Workshop, set it a line of paints, and dry brush it around the various muzzles of the weapons to simulate kind of heat scorching from weapons fire. And with that, I'm going to call this heroic paint job of the Lyran Guards complete. Oh, water. Can't talk anymore, at least at the end of the video. So, oh goodness. Whew. Thank you guys all for watching. Once again, I'm Jason, the creator of the Tabletop Battlefield, and I'll try to talk one little self-promotion bit here. If you like that photograph from the thumbnail, I've got both of those buildings you saw in that video for sale on my Etsy store. They're great 6mm scale buildings for all sorts of fun giant stompy robot games. So you find a link to purchase those in the show notes of this video. So before my throat dies on me again, have a great week.